a nation of raiders. It's a nation of raiders. We a nation of raiders. It's a nation of raiders. We a nation of raiders. It's a nation. Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Inbounds with the Oakland Raiders. I'm Lorelai Suarez and today we sit down with San Francisco native and Raider fullback Jamey Zalawali. Jamey, thanks for taking the time to sit down with us today. Thanks for having me. So you grew up right across the bridge in San Francisco. What was it like for you getting to grow up in the Bay Area as a youth and what activities were you involved in? Uh, you know, growing up in, in the Bay Area was, was great. Um, just being in California I think is great, the weather, everything. Um, you know, from early age, my, my dad had me doing football, basketball. Uh, I did baseball for like a year. Um, you know, just being involved, trying to stay active year round. Now, in high school, you actually went to three different high schools um, and played football. My alma mater, St. Ignatius, for year one. Then you moved over to De La Salle and finished off your career at Long Beach Poly. What was it like for you playing in three different programs during those four years? It was interesting. You know, you got to see. Uh, you know, three different, like you said, three different programs, and they each ran uh, the football program differently. Um, so it was interesting. I got, uh, you know, some good experience from that. And each of those schools not only had a strong powerhouse program, but they were rigorous academically. So how did you manage to balance the demands of being a student athlete? Well, I mean, uh, I had uh, great coaches who, you know, uh, were always there to help, had great teachers. Um, so it's just about taking advantage of, you know, what they offer you. Now, did you always have your end goal being to play in the NFL? Yeah, uh, since I started playing football since I was eight, that was my end goal. Uh, so growing up, which teams did you, were you a fan? Were you a Raider fan? Were you a Niner fan? Uh, I was a Barrier team fan, but, um, you know, if the Niners were playing the Raiders, I, I, was in, I would root for the Niners because I grew up, you know, from San Francisco. So and in college, you know, you started off at the JC level and then you moved to North Texas. What were you doing at the collegiate level to prepare for your end goal of playing in the NFL? Uh, it's just, you know, cultivating those good habits. Um, you know, that's something that really starts when, when you're young. But uh, just, you know, working out, you know, staying, staying in shape. Uh, you know, like you said, having the end goal in mind and, and training for that and, and, you know, not giving up no matter the hardship or, the, you know, the setbacks. Growing up in the Bay Area, you were a child that grew up in schools that taught about giving back. And in the NFL, one of the ways that um, you guys give back is through a program known as Play 60. Can you talk about your experiences with that program over the last few years as a pro in the NFL? Uh, yeah, it's, it's been a fun event. I've been involved, you know, with uh, a couple of Play 60 events. Uh, it's just fun, you know, seeing the kids run around and, ha and being active and enjoying themselves. Um, and I think it's, it teaches them some good habits, you know, that they can take with them as they get older. Can you elaborate on that? Because, you know, one of the things that we've noticed in, you know, the recent years of technology is that kids are less active. And even for those kids who maybe don't have aspirations to be professional or even collegiate athletes, why do you feel it's so important for them to have an active lifestyle growing up? Uh, well, you know, I, it's just important to be healthy um, for, for health reasons. Um, and for me, I, I hate being cooped up in the house, so I think getting out um, you know, running around and, and burning energy is, you know, it's good for your health, you know, um, and, you know, it has many benefits. You just signed a three-year extension with the Raiders. Congratulations. You. So, you know, looking back on your football career, having bounced around different schools in high school and in college, how does it feel now to find your home back where you grew up? Uh, it feels great, you know, to be a, to be a part of the plans m moving forward. Um, I feel like we have a great young team and that we're growing. Uh, and to be included in those plans uh, as a blessing from God. So you know, I'm, I'm grateful. And can you talk about what it's like to play for, I consider the best fans in the NFL? It's wonderful. Uh, you know, <laughs> you know the, the Black Hole, we jump in every, every home game. Uh, even on the road, we have some good uh, following. So it's, just, it's great playing for people who are, you know, fanatics. And fanatics. what are your goals for the remainder of the season? And over the next three years, I mean, you have gone from a, a smaller role to a much bigger role in the offense. So can you talk about that and what your long-term goals with the Raiders are? Personally, my goal um, is every day in practice to get better, uh, to get better at my craft. Um, you know, in terms of the team, we want to finish out the year strong. We want to, um, you know, uh, Coach, Coach Del Rio talks about every week. It's about winning this, this you know, this game. So we want to be 1-0 this week um, and finish out the year strong. 
And then next year, we want to build upon what we started this year and have a, you know, a great year. You obviously worked really hard to eventually end up where you wanted to be, which is a professional athlete. So for those student athletes out there watching us today, what are some words of wisdom that you can share with them? Uh, to be honest, you know, that I've seen people who, um, you know, I've, I've been all over the country and I've seen people who are hard workers and, and there's so much that goes into being successful. Uh, of course, your work ethic is, is very important. Uh, but for me personally, uh, I attribute everything I have to God, you know, and what he's given me and, and what he's blessed me with and the doors he's opened. Um, I couldn't have done it, you know, no matter how hard I worked. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that I couldn't have accomplished without him. Well, Jamez, thank you for taking the time to sit down with us and to share your story with our viewers. I um, really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Until next week, this has been Lorelai Suarez with Inbounds with the Oakland Raiders. Thanks for tuning in.